what if we're multiplying and dividing mixed numbers? So here's something that you really want to remember. Um, again, we're not going to be seeing a whole lot of mixed numbers in algebra, but if we do, and we have to multiply or divide with them, the first thing we need to do is turn it into an improper fraction. So again, um, multiplying and dividing with mixed numbers is way easier when we turn it into an improper fraction. So again, making sure we know how to turn um, a mixed number into an improper fraction is super important. So right here, we have 4 and 3 eighths times 7 tenths. So this is multiplication, but we have a mixed number. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to turn this into an improper fraction. So our first step is to take this and turn it in from a mixed number to an improper fraction. So eight times four is 32, 32 plus three is 35. So now we have 35 over eight times seven over 10. Now we can multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom and reduce if possible. So I went ahead and did my calculations before I started the video so that um, I wouldn't have to do that and waste time. But we would do 35 times 7, which would give us 245. And on the bottom, 8 times 10 is 80. And we can reduce that because both of those are divisible by, by 5. So any number that ends in a 5 or a 0 you can always divide both of them by five. So that's what I did, is I divided 245 and 80, I divided both of them by five, and it gave me 49 over 16. And 49 over 16 do not have any common factors, except for one, that's the only common factor that they have. So we would leave our answer um, uh, in this format. Again, we don't have to turn it into a mixed number. Just leave your answers as improper fractions as long as they've been reduced and they're in lowest terms. So again, multiplying a mixed number, turn that mixed number into, into an improper fraction before you multiply. The same thing is going to be true when we're dealing with division. Because remember, every division problem is basically a multiplication problem. We just have to change the sign and change the last number. Okay, so we're going to take this five and one thirds and turn it into an improper fraction. So 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16 over 3 divided by, and remember, so I'm going to go ahead and put the 4 here, but remember what we have to do with this number. So if you're using the cross multiplication or the keep change flip, it doesn't matter. We have to take this whole number and turn it into a fraction. So how do we do that? By adding that fraction bar and a 1 beneath it. So now that we have this whole number represented as a fraction, we can go ahead and either do our keep change flip or our um, cross multiplication. So whichever is easier for you, and I'm going to kind of switch back and forth on the videos here, so I'll do the keep change flip. So we could rewrite this as 16 over 3 times 1 over 4. So instead of the 4 being on the top, now it's on the bottom. And we can go ahead and either reduce now, we can lower the, the 16 and this 4, we can reduce later, either one. We're going to end up with numbers that are quite small, um, so it'll be just as easy to reduce at the end. So whatever you're more comfortable with. 16 times 1 is 16, 3 times 4 is 12, and we can divide both of these by 4. 16 divided by 4 would be 4, 12 divided by 4 would be 3, so our number would be 4 thirds. So again, we're still using all the same rules that we learned with integers, that we learned with exponents, that we learned um, with uh, fractions, multiplying and dividing fractions. The only thing we're doing now is when we have a mixed number and we're multiplying or dividing it, take that mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction first.